Hi, this is Chris Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Is today driving you crazy? The prayer known as St. Teresa's Bookmark can help you calm down. Is your stomach all tied up in knots with worries? Is your mind racing like a hamster in a cage going around and around on a wheel? Give yourself a break. Take a deep breath. St. Teresa's Bookmark can give you some much needed perspective on things. The prayer itself follows. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing. God only is changeless. Patience gains all things. Who has God wants nothing. God alone suffices. St. Teresa of Avila, the celebrated Carmelite nun, mystic, and doctor of the church, wrote this prayer in the 16th century. It's called St. Teresa's Bookmark because, according to tradition, this great saint carried it around in her prayer book, where it was found after her death in 1582. St. Teresa herself was a truly inspiring figure in Catholicism. She joined the Carmelite order in 1535. When she felt that it had become too lax, she, along with St. John of the Cross, founded the discalced, that is to say shoeless, sandal-wearing, actually, Carmelites, dedicated to a more austere life of prayer, work, and penance in the 1560s. This famous mystic received many visions from our Lord in the form of intellectual locutions, that is to say, insights and images that she perceived with her mind rather than her senses. Her autobiography, along with her other famous works, entitled The Interior Castle, and also, another one, The Way of Perfection, are among the great classics of our faith in their treatments of mysticism and prayer to achieve union with God. St. Teresa experienced many hardships during her life, including illnesses and struggles both in her prayer life and in establishing her Reformed order. Still, she had an amiable disposition and a good sense of humor as well, as evidenced by a well-known story related to her. Supposedly, our Lord said to St. Teresa after she experienced some trial, That's how I treat my friends, to which she is said to have replied, And that's why you have so few. Actually, as to her real feelings, she wrote in The Interior Castle that, However many years life might last, no one could ever wish for a better friend than God. Keep in mind, in relation to this incident, that Jesus was not acting like some kind of killjoy here. Our Lord has called on mystics, religious, and lay people alike to share their sufferings with his own on the cross at Calvary, for others' salvation. The line in St. Teresa's bookmark about all things passing is both challenging and comforting. After all, neither the good things we experience in this world nor the bad ones last forever. We are challenged to share God's blessings with others rather than to hoard them for our own selfish desires. And we are comforted in the knowledge that whatever hardships and pains we experience, even the really bad ones, also pass away. Or as St. Teresa herself once said, pain is never permanent. St. Teresa's assertion that God only is changeless also brings to mind our Lord's own words about what really lasts. As he put it in the Gospels, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. This is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 35. She also brings up the importance of patience in our journey towards eternal life. Indeed, patience is one of the twelve fruits of the Holy Spirit. It can help us endure even the most difficult trials with God's grace. The patience we show others also reflects the love we have in our hearts. We can make a nice scriptural link here in trying to discern God's will for us. As St. John put it in one of his letters, God is love. This is taken from the first letter of St. John, 
chapter 4, verse 8. And, as St. Paul once wrote, famously, love is patient. This is taken from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 4. Ultimately, the important thing, as St. Teresa's bookmark reminds us, is to keep God front and center in our lives as much as possible, even with all the day-to-day distractions of making a living and providing for our families that can often threaten our peace of mind. After all, didn't Jesus tell us in the Sermon on the Mount to, as he expressed it so memorably, Seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things, that is to say our material needs, shall be given you. This is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 33. St. Teresa's bookmark echoes that wonderful sentiment in its last two lines. Who has God wants nothing. God alone suffices. Hopefully this great prayer can help you keep your cool in troubled times. This is Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Thanks for listening. God bless.